you know what, brothers? If you want to get yourself, you know, get your body in the ultimate shape, my six-pack abs and gunned up, Soul is probably not the person you want to be chiming into. Now, of course, I can tell you how to cut the cokes out and eat leaner foods, and, and you know, I can tell you how to lose a few pounds, right? But I'm not that subject matter expert on fitness. Now, I have some people on speed dial that can get you there, brother, but soul is not that person. You know, if you want to, if you want to be able to take $100 and, and, and turn it into millions in a matter of, of months, uh, maybe a year, brother, I'm not that person. Yes, I can show you how to get to a certain level of financial freedom, you know, of what of what my knowledge entails. But but I'm not some some internet marketing guru that can show you how to just flip and get a thousand percent overnight. I have people on speed dial that can do it. A soul is not that person, brothers. But I'm gonna tell you this: if you want to find that place where God lives. If you want to find zero frequency, brother, I can show you how to get there. And the reason, the reason finding that place to me is so important is because, you know, over the entire time I've lived on this planet, right? There's nothing that has given me more joy, more happiness than finding that place. Then finding that place where I can, I, I neither desire a thing nor lack a thing. I, I can just rest in my I am. I'm telling you, brother, I've, I haven't found a place more peaceful, more happier than that. And to be honest, unless I'm talking to a person that, that, that resides in that place, they really don't understand me when I'm saying that, brothers. And I'm understanding that the reason why a lot of us can't find that place, can't can't tap into it, is because a lot of us are 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 still attached to either things that have hurt us or just simply stated things that are are in our past that are keeping us from tapping into that. A lot of us are still plugged into our trauma. And I'm telling you brothers today, trauma is no excuse for you to not find the highest version of yourself. Like trauma is no excuse for you to, for you to not learn how to walk the path, for you to just learn how to do what's right. A lot of people are using that trauma as, as an excuse. And I'm telling you, brother, trauma is no excuse. It's no excuse. Now, I'm going to say this. A lot of y'all sisters, y'all think that y'all can, can, can get on dining room tables and twerk for the gram, Y'all think y'all can show uh, uh, butt cheeks on the book in the tube and all these other platforms. Y'all think y'all can have men in and out of the house and, and, and just move in a certain way and think y'all somehow think that's not going to affect the next two or three hundred years of your lineage. Somehow or another, y'all y'all think that. And I'm telling you, you're you're literally destroying the people behind you. A lot of y'all brothers, man, think that you can, uh, you know, have these kids and not talk to them for years at a time or at all. Y'all think that y'all can cannot spend any time with them. Y'all think that y'all can have sons and daughters that y'all don't give guidance and show what real men should move like. Y'all think that y'all can do that, man, and it not have an effect on 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 the, on, on uh, the the life behind you, your kids, your grandkids. I'm telling you, man, things that you do now are affecting your lineage. A thousand years from now. A thousand years from now. But the thing is, the thing is this, man. We all, we all have to come to the conclusion at some point because pretty much all of us have some kind of, of thing, some kind of event or, or events that affected us in our life, that are, that, are, that, are, that are holding us back, that are that hindered us emotionally or, or something, right? But what you have to understand is whether it's a, 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 a parent, whether it's a mother, father, whether it's an aunt, uncle, grandparent, you have to understand, man, that the trauma that's passed on to you was passed on to them. That was passed on to them. Like I said, man, trauma can be from things, things that you experience from, from your immediate family could be based on something that happened a long time ago, man. So that, that's the first, that's the first way to come out of that. Because I'm telling you, man, holding on to trauma, 
but it, it does you absolutely no good. I mean, there, there's a part, there's a few stages of, you know, you going through mourning and understand what happened, but at some point you got to come out of that. And, and I, I, the thing is this brothers, I know that it can be extreme because a lot of us can say, you know what? Okay, man, you know, I didn't have a father in the house. I didn't have a mother in the house. I didn't have, you know, X, Y, Z. Well, I went through this kind of abuse, physical or emotional or whatever. And then some can get to the, to the, to the extreme where, where maybe you were touched inappropriately and certain things happen in that area. To me, that, that's the extreme. But I'm telling you, at some point, regardless of what happened to you, you have to come out of that. Trauma is no excuse at certain point, at some certain point, brothers. You have to understand this. You have to understand that, man, we only have one at back at this life. And that's not getting into religion and some people think we might come back. I'm not, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this life. You only have one shot. You only have one shot. And if you're a person that knows who you are, if you're a person that knows what you're capable of, and you don't, and you don't, like I always say, you don't swing for the fence. You aren't, you aren't walking in that I am to achieve that. Brother, brother, you might as well, you might as well have stayed where we were before we came here, man. And I'm telling you, uh, the reason why a lot of people can't even just move in that newer energy is because they want to live in that trauma. And I'm telling you, trauma is no excuse. I'm not saying it's easy. It's very difficult. It's, it's, it's very difficult to have, to have gone through something traumatic, whatever it is, and you just use that for an excuse your, your whole life. That's the easy way out. That's the easy way out, man. You know, I think of, I think of a lot of the, uh, the young men now because, you know, single-parent households are just like, that's common now. I think of all the young men now that are in their teens, between their teens now and maybe 30, that experienced uh, a life with maybe no father at all or no mother at all. It's easy to come out of that, uh, uh, and sisters that, that experienced that. It's easy to come out of that and say, you know what? Well, since I did that, I'm going to move in a certain way. You know, yeah, I want, I want to go sell, I want to go sell dope, man, because now I have an excuse. Like, and I, I can always lean on, you know, Pops wasn't there. I want to I go run the streets. I want to go do X, Y, and Z because, because Pops wasn't there. I have an excuse now. A lot of these sisters are moving the way they're moving. I'll say a lot of them are moving the way they're moving is because a father wasn't in place. That's simple, simple as that. A lot of women are, are looking at certain type men or, or, or conducting themselves a certain way because their father wasn't there. But at some point, you have to become aware of that. You, at some point during, during self-actualization, you have to say, you know what? I'm doing X, Y, Z because of this. And now that I'm aware of it, if I continue to move like that, now I'm just riding that wave of victimhood. And I'm telling you, at that point, uh, at that point, brother, trauma is, is no more an excuse, man. It's no more of an excuse. I don't care what happened to you. You think worst case scenario, whatever it is, I don't care what happened to you. At some point in time, trauma is not going, it's not going to, it's not going to cover it, man. It's not going to do it. Nobody's trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't be 40, 50, 70, 80, 90 years old, still talking about something that happened in your teenage years, something that happened in your twenties. At some point you got to come out of it. Right. And the thing is this. There's always someone trying to help you out. Like, like it's easy, it's easy to move in a certain low vibrational energy and say, you know what, being this victim mentality. But if you desire a thing, if you desire to, to vibe higher, if you desire to, to walk a different path, there are people all around that are trying to, to help you do that. I mean, especially in the year 2022, man, with social media, you can tap into any energy you want. So you can be one of these brothers that want to move in some, some, some low vibrational stuff. You know there are men on the internet that are saying, brothers, I know a lot of you brothers didn't have fathers. I know there are a lot of sisters that are saying, hey, a lot of you sisters didn't have mothers or fathers. This is how you move. I know a lot of you have, you know, financial trauma and you think that being check to check is normal. This is how you move. I know a lot of you are dealing with, you know, uh, diabetes running in your family and all the, these health issues that, that you think are standard issue. This is how you move. So what I'm saying is you can only move in that trauma for so long, man. You can only do it for so long. There is no excuse. If a person at some point doesn't, doesn't find that happiness, 
And the thing is this, man. Happiness, happiness is going to look different for every single per- person on the planet. For, for every single person on the planet, man. For some, for some, it's it's living in you know a castle in in England. For some, it's living in a high rise in Dubai. For some, it's living in twenty thousand square feet in Calabasas. I have a brother, uh, a brother in the, in the power circle, man. Just had a home, just had a nice life, nice fan, a, a nice. Uh, uh, he has a nice career, and just all of a sudden he said, "You know what, man? I want I want to sell my home. I want to sell all this stuff." And moved and bought him a bought him a new SUV, bought him a, a camper, and now he's just living a life of simple and solitude. That's his zero frequency. That's his happiness. Everybody's happiness is going to look different. So, so the thing is this, and I said this uh, pretty recent. If you're gauging your happiness, if, if you're even deciding what your level of happiness is based on what someone else's look like, uh, life looks like, brother, you'll never find it. You'll never find it. You have to understand that level of happiness is something that's only in you. But the thing is this, the reason why most people can't find it is because they're still attached to that old life. They're still attached to that ball and chain, man. Whatever that ball and chain is, brothers. And I've said this before. The only way you get to this point is you have to crucify your old self. You can look at all the religious books you want to. You can look at all the, the, the philosophers. You can look at all the uh, uh, whatever, the writings on the, the hieroglyphs on the pyramid, whatever you want to look at. It all comes back to that. It all comes back to knowledge of self, knowing who you are, what you're capable of, and releasing anything that doesn't, that doesn't agree with that. I'm going to say that again, man, because you really need to understand what I'm saying. If you want to find that place of peace and happiness, right? I'll even say this. If you're trying to find that place... If, if you're just trying to execute and grow in a major way in whatever health, fitness, uh, uh, financial, if you're just trying to grow and you're like, you know what? I know how to grow, but I can't do it. I'm telling you how to do it before you start growing. You have to do a certain thing first, man. You have to be in a certain state. You have to find that zero frequency, man. And I'm telling you in order to do that, in order to swing for the fence, like you're trying to, you have to first know who you are and what you're capable of. And then you have to release anything not associated with that, which which means a lot of the trauma, which means a lot of the way you were brought up, a lot of the way you see finances, a lot of the way you see health, a lot of the way you see relationships. I've said this a billion times. The reason why marriage rates are going down and, and, and all this stuff is really not because, oh, women are taking money and men are. Che- it's not it's not all that stuff. The reason those numbers are going down is because you have to understand there's a whole generation that's that's really behind us that has no idea what that looks like. If you're my age, you know what it looks like to see a husband and a wife in a household living, living happy, you know, people eating dinner together, uh, people laughing together, playing board games, uh, a woman and a man showing intimacy, even, even if it's like light kisses on the cheek in front of family, you know what that looks like. But imagine what it looks like. Imagine what the thought process is for, for a young man or a young woman that's in their teens now up to up to 20s that's never seen that. So, so when you're talking about, you know, just having healthy relationships and moving in and, and living under one roof, that they have no idea what that looks like. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so I mean, it's like this. There are a lot of things that, that people experience that, once you understand what your shortcoming is, like I said a second ago, there are people out there that are saying, hey, you know what? This is the way to this, this type of happiness. So once you identify your trauma, man, all you have to do is find the way out and find that new self and release the old, man. But you have to crucify the old self. There's no way around that. There's no way around that. And I've said, that, I've said this in a million and one different ways. I've talked about, I've referred to it as a crucifixion. I've broken it down to the three stages of transition. When a person is on that bridge, going to that new, that new version of themselves, you have to put everything, everybody, every person, place of thing has to be on the chopping block. And it, once it goes to that, 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 that filter, if it doesn't pass, it has to stay. If it doesn't pass, it has to stay, but everything has to be on that block or you'll never find that zero frequency, man. I'm telling you brothers, all I'm saying is this. Everybody, everybody has something that's altered their way of life. It could be minor. It could be major. 
But I'm telling you, man, the reason why a lot of people can't find happiness, and I'm talking about true happiness. I'm not talking about the kind of happiness where, where you go make a purchase and it's like you're just tingly inside like you've won. That, that's joy. That, that's a... I'm talking about true happiness, though. I'm not talking about the happiness where, where you know, you, you get on the gram and you meet some thick, just, some, uh, some thick sister and she's feeling you. And, and you're like, oh, you know, you, I'm happy now. I'm talking about that happiness where you can sit still in a room, no TV, no sound, no nothing. Just you and source energy around you. And you can have that sense of, I, I neither desire nothing or, or, or lack nothing at this very moment. Brother, I'm telling you, there's... There is no shot of, of, of whiskey. There is nothing you can roll up. There is nothing you can shoot up. There is nothing you can purchase. There is nothing you can uh, drive in. There is nothing you can cuddle up to at night that will give you that feeling, brothers. A lot of people call it the kingdom. And all I'm saying is if you find that place first, then all this other stuff you want, man, it'll, 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 be, it'll be such a joyous event when you, when you, when you entertain it, man. Ultimately, what I'm saying is, brothers, trauma is no excuse. Trauma is no excuse. So identify that thing, release that thing, understand you only have one at back, and understand there are ways out. But, but you have to win, man. You have to succeed in this life.